What is up, Panda YouTube? We are back with another superlatives quiz. We're gonna get a category and four or five cards and we have to see what matches the best and debate who is right because we do that a lot on literally everything that we do when it's us three. Sometimes, sometimes one of us gets ratioed. Yeah. Typically me, I'm the one that gets ratioed. Yeah. To start, we're going to be arguing who the coolest character is. So, that being said, we start with the least cool character and work our way up. Wow, I am littered with cool characters, my friends. I do sure. not see you guys winning. The lamest character, and I think everyone would agree, it's literally Min Min. You invented cringe. I yeah. think she's cooler than other people give her credit for, but she's still on the bottom part. I'm not, like, she's not bottom one or two, she's bottom like eight. Nah, I don't know, she's kind of the foot. She's low down there. Okay, so who's more cool than Min Min, but not much cooler? Fortunately, I like playing this character, but I think Corin. Pretty lame. They're just a sword character and they say good. It's your point and click adventure. Yeah. That's what Corrin yeah. is, yeah. yeah. Like a little bit cooler than Min Min, but not. Yeah, 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 there's more to it. Not actively lame, yeah. just I think I already lost this thing because I have nothing but boring characters. I actually think only one of my characters is cooler than Corrin. Really? That's yes. crazy. That's bad. I'm gonna go Richter. Richter's cooler than Corrin? Yeah, well, because like a good Richter it has like these cool combos with the thing and then they jump and then they do the down air and the upbeat. Like they, it, he has the capability of being decently cool. I'll give it up. I'll yeah. save it. I'll agree with that, yeah. I think just based on personality because it's like, Min, Min has soul but is lame in the game. Corrin is a blank slate. Richter at least is a person. Yeah. You know, not a dragon. Is he the one that's in the meme where he like walks into Dracula's throne room and like the glass breaks and mm -hmm. Dracula goes, I don't know I, that piece. Yes, he is. <laughs> okay, thank you. All right, so I got a handful more characters to pick, uh, all of them in which are way cooler than Richter. I see one already, so. How do you see it? I saw it through the thing. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. It's fall, you can eat pumpkin. Soldier first class, largest sword of them all, most anime of hairs. It's Cloud Strife, baby. Limits are meant to be broken. So are your bones if you're playing against him. <laughs> I, he's cooler than Richter. Yeah, he's cooler than Just Richter. based on like look alone. His look is cooler than everything Richter does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. There's no argument. He's got, he's yeah, the that. Advent Children one's cooler. Also, did you see Nico's combo to beat Sky J? That was hot. Yeah, yeah. that was disgusting. Like character is pretty lame overall, but like when they get going, they're still pretty. Like them, them uh, like Cloud getting going is way cooler than Richter getting going. Yeah. yeah. Free, free, right. free. Who's cooler than Cloud? So my pick, Kazuya Mishima. People, listen, I know we don't like Kazuya, and especially us, we lost to the same person. He's still cool. Tekken is a cool game. Zero to deaths, even if lame to fight against, are like the best to watch. That's why I like how Ryu and Ken are both good in this game. He does have the cash money all. He also, yeah, has a good all. Like there's no way he's not at least a little bit. Like it's scary and lame to fight against, but aesthetically, he's I mean, so lamer. cool. I think Cloud's lamer. Lamer than Kazuya? Like, because oh, he's just gonna spam back. To play against. Yeah. yeah. To play against. Yeah, it's a little I think, easy. yeah, I was gonna say, I think they're both really cool. Kazuya's cooler to watch, definitely. I think it's funnier. I think yes. I'll, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll, yeah. It's a very responsible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, right. who's cooler than Kazuya, big guy? Uh, I don't <laughs> GG's shake yeah, my hand. Yeah, I think we both got bad luck. Um, Bowser. Oh. No, put your hand down, kiddo. We'll go That's, Bowser. Oh. Uh, Bowser's got, he can get you with the, with the... Nair back air. With the up throw Nair. Well, that's cool. Mm. Oh, Fire yeah. breath at ledge. Ooh. Ooh. Side B. It's a cool character. I think Bowser's my, secret, my Maybe, second yeah. least favorite character. Yeah. All right, so Waddy's out. See you next time. So Waddy's out. So right. it's my turn now. All right, I got two. If you actually have a character cooler than Kazuya, like, you actually just win. Oh, I do. I actually have two characters that are cooler than Kazuya. You have like Fox and Zero Suit? Well, uh, I do have Zero Suit Samus. <laughs> 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 the character's just sick, dude. You, you look at her. She's like, she'd be jumping, she'd be schmooving. She's got jet boots. She's got birds for parents. That's so sick. <laughs> she's birds? just a cool ass character. That's uh, the Chozo. Yeah, bird like alien, alien, alien bird. Cause she's an orphan. Yeah, she do be flipping oh. and she do be cool. Snare flip kick, hot combo. You are cool. Zero suit is lame. You know what's crazy when you can beat me and I'm like, damn, you played real, that was so you, cool. <laughs> like that's, you are the only ZSS that makes this character look anywhere near cool. I agree with Every that. ZSS is the lamest flip kick away. Oh, jump around, platform camp. Oh, side B, there. Yeah, he does that to me too. Zare, Zare, I do Zare. other stuff. At least you go for other stuff. Every other ZSS is, is the most boring. 
thing in the world, but But she I'm also can biased be cool because Samus is literally one of my favorite video game characters ever, so I can't in good faith argue against her. Cool than Katya. Yeah. All right, well, do you have anything cooler than ZSS? Okay. I have the coolest character in the game because he can be many characters at once. Kirby! Shut your ass up. Go yeah, I know. It, I think Kirby in theory is cool. Kirby is not. Yeah, like Kirby. Ass, so. Kirby in because like you know the Kirby games are lame. Like literally, yeah. look at my other two choices. Oh gee, yeah. like yeah. what the yeah. f are you doing? Game and yeah. Watch. yeah, like Game Watch isn't even cooler than the first character. <laughs> I literally got the lamest character. Josh couldn't even Bro, let me go first. I got Mario and Luigi. Mega Man was up there for me. I think Mega Man's really cool. I think, I was, I think Link is cool. Link? No. Nah. He has like infinite. Shit. It's cool. Next up, we got the easiest character to use well. So we gotta start with the hard character. Oh, so that's like top level. It can be whatever we want. The hardest character on my list, Sephiroth. I think Sephiroth is really hard to play well again, like as. Cause like, his hitboxes are all slow. His movement is weird. You have to understand how wing works. He has almost no combos. Yeah. And his upper has so much lag that like, a normal juggle game like a Roy or Aegis is like, I'm just gonna spam upper and hope you air dodge. Sephiroth actually has to like, commit and read you. Yeah, super hard. All right, all right, so someone that is easier than Sephiroth yes. to play well. He kind of does some of the same stuff as Sephiroth, but it's a little bit more complicated. Yes. Sora, I think he's got more tech, but it's still kind of brain dead. Do you agree? I'll, I'll accept, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll I think Sora's hard. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think I'd say Sora's harder than Sephiroth, or easier, easier than Sephiroth. Okay. Oh wait. Yeah, I, th I think Sora's easier than Sephiroth. Sora's pretty easy. He's got his shape. It depends on the level we're talking, right? Well, because, like, the well level. Yeah, because I think like optimally Sora's way harder because it's like, hey, hit all your combos. Yeah, I think you can like, like IDJ. <laughs> I think you can win tournament sets with Sora knowing less. Yes. Because he also has projectiles and a better recovery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the hardest character, if not top two. And then I also have two pretty hard characters. So I have two to choose from. And they're both pretty easy. I'm going to start with PT. Pretty easy character. I mean, if you suck with one, you're probably okay with the other one. <laughs> yeah. And they're all viable. I high key think that character is pretty brain dead. Yeah, that character is like, I think it's gonna be big, hard to beat that. I think that's way that. easier than Sora. Like, yeah, I think that's a significant I think we have a gap now. <laughs> It's gonna be hard to beat that. People like to think, oh, it's three characters. You have to learn three matchups. No. You're picking the same buttons anyway. Don't fool yourself yeah. into thinking that you're thinking because you're not. You are going to forward tilt and nair and forward air, squirtle and grab. And then as Ivysaur, you're only back airing. And then as Charizard, you're also only back airing. <laughs> and sorry, forward tilt. Oh yeah, yeah, come on, dude, relax. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so easier than Pokemon Trainer. Jesus Christ. I think the next character that I'm gonna go with is Villager. Pokemon Trainer has an advantage in one way because Pokemon Trainer is better. So like you can just like, matchups like pretty easily like you don't really need to know all the matchups okay don't make, don't make that look at that face you or that, that sound <laughs> you made the sound but like villagers game plan is like equally as simple as pokemon trainers in my opinion it's like you're gonna lloyd rocket you're going to forward air you have a really good recovery so you don't really have to worry about being off stage I will you say, have blatantly yeah. good kill options like bowling ball like you're you're playing the exact same game plan against every character and whether you win or not is just like oh do they know how to deal with it or do they have a reflector and that's the only thing that changes i think i think yeah i think pt has a little bit more room for creativity which makes yeah. them a little harder like swamp I, think so. yeah. I i think it's on the the, the the way that the fact that villagers stuff is just harder to pull off and make work i feel like that just makes it harder because you actually gotta like there's no sauce so what do you mean i think I, it means that villagers worse so therefore it's harder like you you have to think harder with your no sauceness. Like I think so. Like, you, so if, what do you think is easier? I think PT is easier. Because I'm thinking like relative to like let's say like their ideal maximum, right? I think more people could get closer to villagers like theoretical peak, like way easier than Pokemon Trainer. Because Pokemon Trainer does have a lot of stuff you can do. Whether or not they do do it is another question. Whereas Villager is still going to forward air and back air and side B. He's got he's got more than that. He's got like the down B stuff. You know, the, you mean the thing that you do when people are farther away from and you and then you just continue got, to forward air and down beat? You know, or side, sorry, side you got, you, there's no way to kill. I think village is easier. Woo! Thank All you. Right. You're nice. Right. My turn. I think that it is easier to play Greninja. This is a baby oh, character. No. Dude, I play this character. That's how you know it's a baby character. You, you, you suck. Yeah. yeah. You use hard characters. I use like two, Joker and Snake. <laughs> and that's where all Those my brain are hard Dude, this is a dash attack bot. This is all he does. <laughs> but the little combos and stuff, that I, takes effort. No, it's not. That takes effort. It takes effort, but it's not hard. I think you need a an understanding of advantage much higher than either of these two characters. Cause like this up air is ridiculous. Water gun is ridiculous. Villager, 
just runs away from you and sets up projectiles again. Whereas Greninja, you have to know how to play advantage and like actually with punish. To play well? To play you, Greninja, you and have you, to understand that you can't just run forward. Yeah, you also have Both like, these characters already have their game plan like, back go. You also have confirms. These characters, you don't need any confirms. The confirms are just like okay, self Okay, okay, how about this? How about this? You don't get a second chance. It's no, like, you are the L. You actually don't. You gotta, you gotta make it count. <laughs> That's horse <laughs> Otherwise, you just can keep arguing until yeah. you make it out. Until I run out of cards. You, gotta you guys have more cards than me? I literally don't. I was first. You L. Apologies. You and I think Greninja's way harder than Villager. You guys are you sit, bots. You See, I literally had Piranha Plant. You should have said Piranha Plant. It's still an L. No, it's not. Piranha Plant. <laughs> you guys are trash. What are you talking about? Piranha Plant's definitely easier than Villager. Than villager. I promise I'm not colluding. Ridley. Easier than Villager? Ridley. Yeah, Rid Ridley's so and you're just easy. A He's got range out the ass. Like you, you just pick a move, down tilt, fair, you know, to kill. He's got like 50 kill options. In any situation, you just get out by narrowing. It's an easy character. It's a very easy character. I think you're way too smub filled. I think that character's really awkward. I use the awkward. character. I think he's awkward. No. He's one of the most awkward characters in the game. His hitboxes barely make sense. He's also a huge character that's light, so he's really unforgiving because you get hit by combos. And also his recovery is really weird. And also he has a command grab that is slow, which is harder to use. Like I absolutely nah. think Ridley has to play, like Ridley's harder to play than Greninja. In what? my opinion. Because Greninja at least dash attacks in neutral, like he's looking for one thing. Whereas Ridley, like he doesn't have a neutral game plan because none of his moves are safe enough. He does kill you out fast, that one's true. He's got Nair, that's, I'm not gonna that's lie. all you need. Some kind of convincing. I think Villager, like, cause like this character is game plan, game plan. What's Ridley's game plan? If it's just Nair, you're gonna lose. You also don't get another shot. You just picked a bad character. I'm sorry that your character's all word hard. I think you're right. Yeah, okay. fine. All right, fine. point for you, fine. Sam. We are the characters. Oh my Bale, God. Bale, Sonic, and oh, Rose. Yeah, that's a really hard trio. <laughs> we got best combo game. I think I win this already, but I I'm think gonna start I win with my... This, dude. Oh, you think you win this I now? think I win if this If anyone already. has Steve, put it down and we lose. We'll start light. Uh, Toon Stink. Toon Stink! Yeah, he's, he's got, got like, like no, one very confirm. Simple. Two he's got like, yeah, he's got two it's like the up tilt. Yeah. I actually played a sick Toon Link, not to discredit you. I played a sick Toon Link at Lost Tech City that was doing like five hit combos. It was crazy. Holy. Yeah. Like it actually was wild. All right, slightly better combos. Okay. Incineroar, they're a lot more situational. They, they do a lot more damage. I would agree. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And That's also he has like down tilt forward air at the ledge. He's yeah, got yeah, like he's definitely more yeah, he's, yeah. He's definitely scarier with the single hits, but the couple of combos he has are terrifying. Yeah. yeah. This guy did take stock in two seconds. Well, slightly more complicated than that. They're not fancy, but they really get the job done, especially with our boy MK Leo. We got uh, Violet. It's not like a incredibly complex complex combo tree, especially without IDJs and stuff. It's like two and three hits. But wow, if you get hit by up air back air at 47, or up B back air at 47, you're dead. Some also require DI reads and stuff. Yeah, so it's a little bit more complex, but it's nothing crazy. It's yeah. not. Yeah. When you're playing against Violet, you're more worried about back air and stuff. And like neutral. Not, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not thinking, oh God, if I get hit, I'm gonna die for the most part. Mm -hmm. Everybody, who's more complex or better combos than Violet? No. Um, now we're getting to the combos that kill. Now we're getting into the, yeah, yeah. Exactly. And do decent damage. We'll do Fox. We'll do Fox. Bring that in. What? There. That is content. That's a jump. That is a jump. Holy sh! Fox. Crazy. He's got everything combos in there. Clearly everything. better. Everything combos in there. I think the only thing that he doesn't have is the fact that a lot of his combos just don't kill. He's got near yeah. up smash and that's it. Yeah. But all of his combos are like refined to like low percent. I don't think it's as much of a jump as you guys think. He does 80%. He goes zero to 80 off. With like down tilt back down tilt dash attack upper, yeah. upper, upper, upper. He's got, he's got a good combo game. Fair drag downs? At like, yeah, very good. At like most percent, yeah. That is a very good combo game on Fox. Yeah, yeah. what you okay. got. Life right. been crazy. I think that this character is nothing without combos. I feel like if I put it down, it would lose, it would be tight. So I think I want to just win out here. It's literally Pikachu. Oh, shit. It's literally uh, Pikachu, guys. It's, uh, okay. it's, uh, he's got better combos than Fox, and you can't deny it. You killed me at zero three times last weekend. Was it three? I don't know. It was at it, least it, two. It was I should have killed, killed, make me should, upset. Should have been three, because I should have <laughs> killed you on Talon. <laughs> that character. Yeah. I Watch can't. my combo guides if you don't know what we're talking about. Damn it. My I can't believe you got Pika. <laughs> my, this was my other one, Falcon. That's, that's a good one, too. Over Fox, though, you think? Uh, uh, no. Uh, maybe. I, IDJ stuff is crazy, because no one does it. Yeah. I really don't think I win, but I'm gonna try to argue. Your boy. No. 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 I got... think Rob's combo game is also very important. I think they're really complicated, and there's a bunch of situations that covers with platforms. Like, the problem with Pika's combos 
is realistically almost all of them are DI reactions, right? And like, sure, I'm really good, so I guess the DI is correctly, or I condition people. But like, Rob, sometimes it's like, oh, it doesn't matter. I Z drop near you at zero, double toss side B. Or like, you're on a platform. It doesn't matter where you DI so, because moves are huge. So the argument is like, what's- It's like simpler. No, like, no, like no, his so, are, so the argument is what, who has better combos? I think Rob. And all of that stuff is like, no, that stuff is like positionally dependent. But so is Pico's because you have like upper bridges are positionally dependent. They're also so he fast has com dependent. So he has combos for every part of the stage to probably kill you at zero. Pico? Yes. But it's also very character specific, whereas his stuff works on literally everybody. Like literally every character in the game, including like Bayo and PT. Like I typically, when I'm comboing like a Pokemon trainer Oh, or he Bayo, needs Gyro for that stuff to even be possible. Yeah. So you got yeah. that little asterisk yeah, in there. But also he has like the pivot cancel down tilts into up smash, which are which no one does for some reason. I don't know. Well, who, do you do think, who do you think's got better combos? And uh, you guys are literally arguing mains here, so. But opposite mains probably, because I yeah. think you're gonna say Pika. It's hard, that's a hard, this is like pretty close. It's a hard, because like, yeah, Rob, all of his stuff, are combos. You see Anathema at Rising Grind? Yeah, all of his things are combos, and I mean, they- like a back aired at 100, they like, like 80 at ledge. Yeah. yeah, dude, real good combo. And they kill easier. I feel like they're more consistent. They're, they're easier to land. I have to pick up a new controller to try to optimize his combos better. Rob's is just as good and also easier. So therefore it's better because it is more likely that you will hit those in tournament. You know how many times I have to win neutral you know as this many, character? Okay. Especially against SEI. Hold on, hold on, hold on. a huge up. deal. Hold the freaking fuck. I got you at zero, I do 12. There's like 85 people who can do fucking Rob combos, okay? You That's wanna talk my about- point. Okay. I'm saying this is easier. If I go, if I Q round one against a Pikachu, I know that he's going to back air the hell out of me until it's, until the <laughs> But he's not like gonna kill battle. you. Yeah. Whereas if you get Z drop near, you're gonna die against everyone. Dude. Yeah. Uh, uh, Hence why Rob should have been on the other fucking. Any Pikachu, like, I, I'll, I'll play against like a, a level, a uh, level. Round one, round two Pikachu. They'll back air me like five times, but they, they, they don't know how to complete. Cause it's like, but, but Rob, but if he I'm has better two, combos, that's their fault. I think Rob's combos are more likely to be deadly and also still do a ton of like basic percent. Whereas like Pika's, if you mess it up once, his each like hit doesn't do that much percent. So like if I drop my combo, I did 25. Whereas you drop a Rob combo, you still did 45. Okay, my, my original point with so many Rob players is they rarely kill me at zero. Who plays Xerxes? CSS, privilege. Yeah, actually. Oh, okay. SDI privilege. So you Nobody agree that Rob that. is uh, better combos? <laughs> yeah, I agree. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Okay, now, Oh, you're still yeah, in. You're not out yet. Oh, well, that was your best one, but whatever. No, nah, I, I have in. one that I think I win. You have Steve? Ice Climbers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, every Ice Climbers knows, like, multiple zero to death. Do you? Yeah, I know. Oh, shit, okay. I was trying to trick him. Like, <laughs> three. They just have, like, their whole thing, their whole entire being is combos. Like, their, their whole thing is, if you don't know combos, you, you can't play a character. The problem with Icy's combos and why they're worse than Rob's, I feel like, is because Icy's, almost all of their combos are like, you're at zero to 10. And like, that's it. Like, that's the only way you get the big, like, kill combos. Disagree. Really? I yeah. mean, there's like footstool up because stuff. Because the there's a lot of things where, there's a lot of situational things. Like, if you're at ledge and you get grabbed, you're dead. Even at like 50, you could do upper, upper, up B. You know, there's that's a lot of things. Combo. It, it could be true. You can grab somebody at like, 70 or 80 and get grabbing the footstool forward smash. Like there's a lot of things that you could just do. You can do uh, just out of the blue, desync uh, blizzard, blizzard into, no, you could do blizzard with Nana and then grab into charge forward smash at like 70. I still think it's the, it's the same argument as Pika, whereas like, he has combos at basically all percents that aren't even that difficult. It's like you hit a Nair, you get Nair back air, Nair up air at higher percents, or you get Nair gyro. Like even the non-grab combos, non-desync combos, they still are like super effective. Like just like up air, up air, up air, up air. Like a million up airs, you took like 60. I think Rob you know? has better combos. Thank you. You said this was your trump card, I assume. Do you have in any argument for any of your characters? So Mewtwo, one of the hardest characters in the game, has better combos than Rob, right, Waddy? You know. I, oh, yeah. I think you oh, literally yeah. have a good answer. Don't tell me Falcon has Ness. better combos than Ness? He has an infinite! You kill it. Ness! You're gonna tell me that Ness is a better combo game than Pika? I mean, no, but that's the best one. No, it's not. That's oh, the that's worst. Left. That's, that's the left. worst that's one. Left. Yeah, here goes Ness. He has an infinite. Yeah. That's my argument, ref. He has an infinite. Rob what, does. Wait, he just infinite? kills you. Magnet. 
He goes, he goes double jump magnet, double jump magnet, footstool, beer versus double jump magnet. You just, you just do this. It's hard. Combo. Combos. It's a combo. Infinite Fine. combo. I think Ness's combos are really good, but I, I do think Rob's are better. And just Fine. beer. E Sam. All right, E Sam wins. Woo, I won. Oh, it was first to two. Wow. I yeah. didn't know that already. Congratulations. I also didn't know that, even though I should have because of the last one. E Sam's Heck? president of the debate team. That's why he won. I literally have never been debated. The nerd. I'm just a nerd, yeah. I still think Pikachu should have won. I mean, either way, let us know down in the comments. And if Pika wins, then I still win because I play Pikachu. So I'm happy regardless. Thanks for watching all. See you next time.